Yeah, they were asking people to sleep with their thermostats on 82 at night. <gasps> 82. Wow, my husband would be like, nope. Mine's I wouldn't mind it. You wouldn't? Oh, mine's on 68. Nope. And you know, this is not normal heat. Yes, it's always hot in the summertime, but uh, you know, this is a pretty record breaking heat wave for out there. It's been hot here, of course, and it's kind of all tied together. Uh, but what we're focused on more so, of course, is the tropics and what that's going to do to our forecast by the end of the week. Now we still have two more days of quiet weather today and tomorrow. It's just going to be hot. It's going to be humid and the chance of rain not very high. We'll get up to around 95 again. We did get to 95 yesterday and we saw a few showers and storms. I think we'll still see a few showers and storms this afternoon, but they're going to be so isolated that most of you don't see any rainfall. Heat index values once again 100 to 105. Same thing tomorrow. Hot and dry 90s feeling like the 100s and then here come the lower temperatures, but here come the chances for rain, perhaps some very heavy rain as we keep an eye on our tropical system. So uh, we're pretty much dry today and tomorrow. Do today and tomorrow to do the preps, clean the storm drains, things like that. And then here we go. Rain chances will start to increase by Friday. It looks like I think Saturday is going to be the main day. Now the timing with all this could still switch around just a bit, but generally Friday, Saturday, Sunday lo do look pretty wet and then rain chances will begin to drop off by Sunday and then by Monday, Tuesday, it looks like we're still going to be somewhat in a stormy your pattern with a cool front storm system moving in behind this tropical system. So Friday through next Tuesday do look uh, like we'll have some rain around uh, the area. Here's the latest on our invest. Still an invest. Nothing more than that. It hasn't organized any more uh, than what it was yesterday. It's still a broad, broad area of showers and storms. Notice there's really nothing going on on the northern side of this in the Gulf. It's mainly over Mexico, but you do have quite a bit of showers and storms kind of up north of the Yucatan here, and this is all part of a broader circulation. So whenever we talk about broad circulations, that means things are not going to happen fast out here. Now what we're going to be looking at today, nothing really happening today. It's going to stay down here tomorrow. Chances of it become a depression jump up to about a 60% chance. That's when it'll finally start moving and then by Friday somewhere in here in the Gulf and it will likely become at least a depression could become a tropical storm and it will be named tropical storm Claudette. It looks like and then by late Friday going into Saturday, it looks like it would get to the northern Gulf Coast anywhere from Texas, upper Texas coast all the way over to uh, Louisiana. It looks, it looks where the center is going to be, but this is going to be one of those storms where you can't really focus on the center and actually minimal impacts could be near the center. Most of the impacts could be east of it and perhaps well east of it. Reason for it, it's going to be a big system uh, that's going to be lopsided, meaning most of the rain is going to be displaced from the center, I think. So here's what we got looking at our moisture. Still lots of dry air in the northern Gulf. There's your system starting to move by tomorrow, trying to wrap up some, but doing slowly because it's such a big area of spin. And then there we are into Friday, becoming a depression down here. And this model takes the center of it up towards the upper Texas coast or maybe over towards Lake Charles. But as I mentioned, this is going to be a lopsided system. Look all the dry air on the west side, no rain on the west side, and then all the heavy rainfall, perhaps 100, 200, 300 miles away from the center, extending all the way into the Florida Pan handle. So uh, really all of Louisiana, Mississippi, Alabama, even in the Florida Panhandle could see some pretty heavy rain from this if it takes that track. Of course, it hasn't formed yet, so things are still tentative, but that's the way it's looking right now. And then by Sunday, it's lifting to the north. Now, rainfall totals could be quite impressive. These will likely change around a bit, but right now we're still thinking uh, maybe widespread seven to 10 inches. Isolated areas could see more than that. We'll have to fine tune that uh, and iron out those details over the coming days, but it does look like some heavy rain. Reason for it lifting to the north over tomorrow and Friday, this upper level low is going to spin it to the north. It'll wrap around this ridge. And uh, while there's not going to be a lot of wind shear, it's going to be such a big system. I don't think it's going to be able to intensify much. It looks like at most a tropical storm, but whether it's a depression or a storm at this point, it doesn't look like a big change in impacts, mainly a heavy rainmaker. Then there it is by Saturday and Sunday, a cool front and upper level trough in that'll kick in on out and then that cool front will actually get close to us by next week and bring us more showers and thunderstorms. So we do need to watch the weather closely this weekend. Right now it looks like mainly a flooding event. Uh, there's still lots of uncertainties. I know I was a little bit more detailed today. We're getting close. We got to start to get into these details, uh, but right now I think our heaviest rain could start by Friday afternoon, but especially by Friday night going into Saturday could be our main day with some of those stronger showers and storms uh, and heavy showers and storms lingering into Sunday. So we'll also need to watch for some coastal flooding. Of course, uh, if we're east of the center, we're going to have strong onshore flow. It might not be significant surge, but it might be noticeable. So that's another fine detail. We'll have to wait uh, probably for another day or so. So there we are. Pretty wet weekend. Staying stormy into early next week.